We live on a planet which revolves around the star, along with several other planets that together gently drift in empty, dark space. It's easy to forget this as we go about the course of our day, but for a very select few, overlooking the simple truth isn't easy. That's because they've actually been in space and physically experienced the Earth from afar. The overview effect characterizes this cognitive shift in awareness that surfaces after this encounter. Simply put, experiencing the true nature of a planet in space has been described by astronauts as being utterly awe-inspiring. They explain it as a sort of mental clarity, or if you will, a spiritual encounter. It's a perspective unlike any other we as human beings have been able to witness in the past. Seeing a home for what it is, a blue ball floating in empty space can be nothing short of overwhelming. Yet many astronauts do not find this realization to be daunting. Instead, they experience a global consciousness or interconnectedness. Edgar D. Mitchell himself described his three-day trip home after a mission in space as an ecstasy of unity and that the view of a planet was a glimpse of divinity. He also recalled a moment where he felt an intense urge to combat the dismal condition of the world. He said, in outer space, you develop an instant global consciousness, a people orientation, an intense dissatisfaction with the state of the world, and a compulsion to do something about it. For others, like James Irwin, both being in space and being one of the few people to have stepped foot on the moon was an experience he described as having felt the power of God. After the end of his NASA career, Irwin founded a religious organization and dedicated his time to spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. These feelings, whether spiritual in nature or simply sublime, characterized a profound shift in the astronauts' perceptions of themselves and their places in the world. In 1987, it was writer Frank White who documented these experiences and dubbed the term the overview effect. However, he also argued that the sight of the Earth from space not only transformed the astronauts' cognizance, but also the rest of ours. Why? Because we too participate in the explorations of space and become psychologically affected here on Earth. But is it currently worth the billions of dollars and 300 tons of carbon dioxide dumped into the Earth's atmosphere in order to catch a glimpse of this blue planet we call home? Now, Jeff Bezos definitely seems to think so when he said, every astronaut, everybody who's been up into space, they say that it changes them, and they're kind of amazed and awestruck by the Earth and its beauty, but also by its fragility, and I can vouch for that. Now, good for him, but do we really need to go up to space today in order to realize that the Earth is indeed fragile, when every day scientists across the world are desperate for governments and corporations to act on the climate emergency that we're currently faced with? Hmm, I'd say no. Just maybe Bezos could use his gigantic net worth in other worthwhile endeavors that could attempt to fix the world he and other people like him have spent their entire lives destroying.